Hello there, welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whichever way the situation may be. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on the ASUS B550M-AY5 motherboard. I have to throw this disclaimer out there, that this is a tutorial or a how-to. So if you decide to do this with your own system, you take full responsibility for whatever may happen. When you're updating your BIOS, I would truly recommend hooking up to a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply if possible. Because if you lose power while doing so, you will break your motherboard and won't be covered under warranty. Just do the simple fact that it's something that you caused. So whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure there ain't no planned outages in your area. But let's flip you over here and I'll show you how to get this done. Alright, here we go. Here we are on the desktop. We're going to show you how to get this BIOS updated on this motherboard today. A little program I like to use. Just see what BIOS number one. It's called CPU-Z. I'm going to open it up here. Alright, go over here to the main, main board here. Down here in the second box, it's about the BIOS. It says we are on version 1004 that was available on 812 of 2020. So that's pretty old BIOS. So let's open up a web browser here. I use Google all the time. And we're going to put in ASUS B550M A Wi Fi, which shows up down here. Alright. And you want to go straight to the manufacturer's website for this. So right here at the top it says asus.com motherboards. And we have the Prime B550M A Wi Fi. Alright, that's the one we need right there. So you're going to click on it. Alright guys, here we are on the website. You don't want to go up to this support button because that takes you to the support for the whole website. You actually want this support down here because this goes to the support just for this particular motherboard. You click on this support. Alright. Then once you get to this page, go to drivers and tools. Okay, then you come down here where it says BIOS and firmware. Okay. The latest BIOS we got is version 2423. It was available on 817 of 21, so it's a lot newer than the one we've got. You want to see all of the ones that's available, click this show all button. And it shows you all the integrations and shows you, kind of gives you an idea of what, what each one of them fixes. And also depending on your motherboard, if you want a different motherboard than this, there may be something in these notes that you got to go up to this particular one before you go up to the newest one or something like that. But this in here don't seem to say nothing like that on any of them. So we should be good to go all the way to the very top. You're going to hit the download button. It starts to download it. It is a zip file. Once you hit the download button, you go down here left click, go up to open. Okay, and it does need to be extracted. To extract all and right here where it shows you where it's going to put it it wants to put in your download folder you don't want that you want it to put it on your zip drive your flash drive which mine is flash drive D and you want to click on the properties of the flash drive and make sure it's in FAT32 if it ain't in FAT32 you take a second and reformat it into FAT32, or your motherboard may not read it if it ain't in FAT32. Okay, it is in FAT32 format, so we can go ahead and select this folder. And you're going to extract them. Alright, there we go. And it opened up, and that there is what we have on the flash drive. That's what we need to update the BIOS with. Then we go ahead and close all this out. Alright, now you're going to have to get into your BIOS. Go down your start button. Go up to your power. Go up to your restart. Whenever it starts to restart, start tapping the delete key. That way you get into your BIOS. All right, here we are. This is the easy mode. And just to verify the BIOS version, if you don't trust CPU-Z, right up here in the top left-hand corner, it says BIOS version 1004. All right, you can't really do it from the easy mode here. You'll have to go down here into your advanced mode. So you push F7 on your keyboard, you double click on the advanced mode here. Alright, here you're on your main main BIOS. This is the advanced mode. And then you go over here to tools. And up here at the very top it says ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility. You double click on it and it should recognize the flash drive. And right here it is. This is what we need, the 2423 point cap. But we get down here and right here's the file we need. It did recognize it on the flash drive, so we're going to tap on that. 
It says, do you want to read this file? And put yes. It says buyer's information and it's going to go to 2423. You click yes and it's starting to process it. All right, guys, it's finishing up here. There we go. It says update successful. System will restart. You hit OK. BIOS is updated LED firmware. Do not shut down or restart the system to prevent system boot up failure. So you just leave it go and let's do its thing here. All right, please enter setup to recover BIOS settings. All right, most of the time it boots right back into Windows, but for some reason this particular motherboard is wanting you to boot back into the BIOS. So we'll go into the BIOS here. All right. Uh, and it does look like it did take up here in the left hand corner. Now we're on buyer's version 2423. So you hit F10, which save and exit. Or you can go down here in the bottom right hand corner, hit save, save and exit, either way. And hit OK. And there we go, booting back up into Windows. And if you really want to make sure, it was I showed you in the buyer's anyway, but you can always open up CPU Z again. You go back over to motherboard, second box down. Now we're on version 2423, which was version 1004. So it did take, and that's the way you update the BIOS on this motherboard, guys. Let me get reset up here, and I'll come up with a conclusion to the video for you. All right, that's the way you get that BIOS update on this motherboard. There's a few things that may occur when trying to do this. Number one, you put your flash drive in, it won't recognize the flash drive. Sometimes it don't recognize the file on the flash drive couple reasons for this if you run into one of these issues i try a different usb port on the back of your motherboard also even though it's in fat 32 it may be the flash drive itself not all flash drives can do this i don't know why and i can't explain why but some some flash drives you just can't use to do this with so you may want to try a different flash drive if it's no if it's recognizing the flash drive but it ain't recognizing the file make sure you're downloading the exact file that you need for your particular motherboard. If it's got Wi-Fi on it, or if it's an ATX motherboard, or if it's a full-size ATX motherboard, whatever the situation may be, make sure it's the exact motherboard that you have in your system, or it ain't gonna recognize it. And it does that to protect your motherboard from being bricked. If you like this kind of content, go down and give me a like. If not, there's that dislike button. You can tap that one twice if you'd like to. Also, there's that comment section below. I go through them every Saturday here on my live stream, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Saturday morning. If you really like this kind of content, maybe hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, when that way you're notified next time I put a video, I go live here on YouTube. Also, there's links in the description for Instagram and Twitter. I don't care your inbox, but I do put up photos of new stuff I have coming in. If there's any changes with my live stream, I've got to change the date or time of it, that's where you also get that information. With all that being said, you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.